Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do a very cute set of the nails. You can have a wee preview of them in here. Nice and summery and beautiful daisy flowers, very easy design to do it, but I think it looks pretty nice and effective and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! We are going to create some daisy flowers in a really cute set and I want some yellow nails. Actually the idea came when we was doing some sunflowers. If you have didn't see this tutorial you have to check it out. So I can put that on the side. And on this nail we are going to use the Ochma Cake 198 color. And this is so beautiful yellow. Like I wanted to really to do some yellow set. So I'm just going to paint this nail in this color. And then cook it. Same we are going to paint this nail in this color. Cook it. And we are going to paint this nail color. On the ring finger we are going to do this nude color with some daisy flowers. So for the nude I'm going to use uh, 213 light rose. And I think it's a fantastic color for a French manicure because it's all, like a little bit see-through. So for baby boomers and for French manicure I think it will be amazing color. Um, I have obviously applied it two decent coats to get it highly pigmented, like better coverage. Um, but I really like it because it's, it's fantastic for a French. Okay, so let's do this one. On this one, we, because we are going to use some sugar over it, I can straight away apply the top coat. So I'm applying the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. and then sprinkle it with sugar. I'm just using the white sugar powder. And it looks amazing over yellow, like absolutely amazing. So sprinkle entire tip, then remove the excess of it. I have had some fluff in there. and then cook it. Then the nude nail, I'm going to paint it a second coat. A really quick design, like an easy. I, I think it is easy. You don't need to have big skills to be able to produce this set of the nails. Then on the pinky, let's do sugar as well. And you can see it how quick it is, like really quick to do it. Actually, Actually, sprinkling on the um, natural nail is much easier than doing it on the tip with the stand. Tap it in to remove the excess. I'm always covering it pretty decent. And then cook it. Okay, we can put the sugar away. And then on this nail we are going to start painting some daisy flowers. So yellow color plus and the dotting tool. 
And what I'm doing, I will be painting a couple dots. So one dot in here, one dot in there, in there, and one in here. Okay, so after you paint the first dots, you want to cook them inside the lamp. And then we are going to use the paint on French gel. Clean it well. And now do dots with the paint on French gel. Okay, after I have done the first row, I'm taking my D-liner brush and I'm just dragging it in to change the shape of the petals. I mean, you could leave them as adults, but I think it looks uh, more daisy if we've got them dragged. And then cook it. The index finger is ready. And when I have finished uh, applying the sugar, what I'm always doing is giving a couple scratches at the edges. And then using the dust brush, I'm just going to remove any excess of the um, glitter. Okay, and this sugar is so small that it is not going to come off. And look how nice it is. I'm going to zoom it even closer. So it gets out of focus, so we can see all those nice particles of the glitter. Absolutely stunning. And then we can put it next to the daisy one. So nice yellow set. And then the next dots. I have just mixed my paint on French gel. And now we can see the difference in between the rounded petals and then the dragged petals. I mean, they're both nice, uh, just both slightly different. Like, make sure you do not rush uh, placing the dots because you want them kind of nice and in the correct places like so one two three four five six and then drag it in same when you're dragging in like you need to drag into the same center direction you cannot drag one on the side and then the other on the other side, so really nice into the center of the um, of the daisy flower. And it is a time-consuming process. Obviously, the slower you are, the nicer results you get. But that's the easiest way to paint the daisy flowers. Okay, and the next one. So I don't have any product on my brush and I'm really just gently dragging the product, but I try to don't go too much over the yellow. If you do get really strongly over the yellow, you could just retouch and place a fresh dot of the yellow color in the middle. And cook it, those daisy flowers. Okay, clean another sugar nail. 
And of course, we have to bling it out the other new as well. So very, very quick set, but I think it looks so nice and pretty. Clean this one. And again, look at the sparkle. So nice. I've got some yellow stain and the yellow stain is from uh, cleaning the lily flowers. I love the lily flowers and we've got lots of them in the garden now. Absolutely amazing. Now this one, no cook it, this one. So we are going to place some gems in here and for the gems application I'm using the base gel. And maybe we will paint some daisy flower here as well. But let's do some composition with the gems. I have, I'm actually so happy that I've got some yellow ones because uh, I think it will be so pretty. I need to invest in some gems in all different colors. No, this one is not nice. Skip it. And when you're running out of the gems, swap it to the AB crystals ones. But at least we've got this uh, yellow color, which I'm really happy for. No, oh, that's too big. We need to go small. That's it. Okay, so I have just placed three small crystals there, cook it, and I'm definitely going to paint some daisy flower there as well. Just so we've got something. Oh, we should do a French. <clears throat> I should do a French. No, I'm got it. I didn't. Anyway, high shine, no wipe top gel. On the middle finger, we should paint it nude color as well and then do the yellow French. So I need to incorporate, incorporate, oh, do I? Yes, I need to place some daisy flowers here as well. Not many, just a tiny bit in a corner. So my dotting tool is here. Two, three. So the yellow dots are visible, but they are hardly visible. But once we place the white flowers, uh, the white petals, they will become, uh, they will stand out much more. So quickly paint on French and just the same like we did it. So cute set. And it's a definitely those type of new art for the beginners. Uh, here you can see it, I'm placing the dot in between the previous dots just so I can squeeze it nice. And it looks, guys, awesome on a blue color. Like I have done it on many clients, like when they come in and they say, like, I want something summery, but I don't want it at all at the top. I want just a wee accent. So you can just paint them like um, blue, pink color and then paint those uh, quick and easy daisies. And it looks amazing, like, and it's very quick to do it. Even just with the dots, without of dragging, then it's even super quick, not quick. I 
think about three years ago I was doing also nice set pink and yellow and I think that combinations of the colors looks really nice and pretty as well. Okay, I'm just going to cook this new. Place the middle one into our display board. So this blue stuff is just a tiny bit of the blue tack. So that's our middle finger. Yeah, it looks so pretty. And then I can put the top coat over this one. So I'm not putting the top coat over the crystals, I'm just going around the crystals. Top coat it all. And then cure it. I will prepare more uh, summary designs for you uh, guys so you can get inspired by watching this channel and I really appreciate all your supports, likes, comments and shares so let me know down in the comments below uh, what else you would like to see it on this channel and I will try to prepare. I know I had some requests for a blooming gels and I promise I will do some blooming gels as well. I've got actually here uh, so I will I will do some designs with the blooming gels for you guys as well like uh, for a summer and uh, definitely you will be able to see it on the channel. Now I'm going to place this tip very gently because it's not fully... Oh, that was the middle one. Okay, so cook it longer and swap it. So this one is here. And then I show you the zoom in effect because like once it goes so close to the camera, it looks so pretty. I like how the sugar made it. It looks so pastel -y, but have a look guys what we have created uh, today. Really nice and beautiful. Very easy summary set. I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.